Hello, my name is Ali, and welcome to my channel. We are back with Color X Malice and Emotos Route. Now, I will say, if I sound nasally, I'm sorry, my allergies are just bad right now. But yeah, let's just go. She doesn't remember why she's been injured or what she was even doing there. She has no recollection of last night at all. But she confessed to everything in detail while she was at the concert. And now she doesn't remember any of it? That's impossible. As you said, there were a number of witnesses who heard her confession. Even Kobayashi herself knows that she's not going to be able to weasel out of this. I imagine that her temporary memory loss was possibly caused as a result of all the injuries that she sustained. However, according to the doctor, that's not the case. What did I do with his voice? Hold on a second. Okay, now I remember I did the condo voice later on. First I started with like kind of like Yanagi's voice, but I'm like, nah. So I changed it to like condo from Hakuoki. The profile... Well, if I can even say it right. <laughs> the profiler who analyzed Kobayashi used behavioral science to examine her. Behavioral science. The academic discipline analyzes human behavior and attempts to draw legitimate, objective conclusions based on the analysis. Psychology and psychiatric medicine. Oh, sorry. Psychiatric. Right, right? Psychi psychiatric. I was right the first time. What the heck? Am Why am I derping? Medicine are a part of the branch of this branch of science. Jeez, I really messed up there. Well, whatever. She was just a pawn who was being used by the Adonis organization. But in actuality, she's not even a member of their organization. What do you mean by that? She's just an incidental associate who was used for the string of X-Day incidents. She is no longer ties to Adonis. It's likely that they erased any memories she'd have of any information that would be detrimental to the organization. Uh. As difficult as it is to accept, there were no abnormal results on her polygraph. Polygraph. Polygraph, a so-called lie detector, records a person's breathing, blood pressure, and pulse. By looking at for changes in the person's body, a judgment can be made if, 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 if. Wow, man, I'm derping. Their statements are truthful. I love how it says a so-called lie detector. Not a lie detector, a so-called one. <laughs> when she confessed to her crimes, Kobayashi did not show a hint of remorse. She was even talking about how the murder was fun for her. And now I'm supposed to believe that someone like that doesn't remember what she did? That's unacceptable. I had seen all the pain and suffering that Enomoto had endured, so I couldn't swallow the con that convenient excuse. Isn't there, isn't there anything else that can be done? How about taking her to the crime scene or showing her the crime announcement video? I have like a tickle on the top of my mouth. It's annoying me. I feel like I gotta sneeze. Of course. I'll wait for Kobayashi to recover before I start her interrogation. If the memory loss isn't a mental issue, there will be need for a detailed examination. But if Adonis has somehow managed to erase Kobayashi's memory, it's possible that there's also no way to bring it back. I attempted to tamp down my rage by balling a hand into a fist. Inamoto and I... Even Seiki stood up and risked our lives to stop Kobayashi. And if this was what we got for it, it's terrible. The perpetrator of the x day incidents isn't Kobayashi acting on her own. Uh. There are still suspects to be arrested. We have to catch all of them to stop x day That is our primary focus right now. Morioka looks ahead, and it makes me feel like I've just been woken up. Our mission directive as police officers hasn't changed one bit. Ah, even if you agree with that or not, I figured that as someone who apprehended a suspect, it'd be important to tell you. Knowing that is what Morioka must view as being considerate, I bow. Thank you. I should be the one to thank you. Huh? SRCPO is a, the division that brought in the suspect. You've motivated Investigation HQ. 
Your fine work has inspired everyone. He's one of the rare smiles you'll see from Morioka. I didn't. Even though it wasn't your work alone, it's true that your work has boosted the morale of the entire force. Now's the time for the police to unite as one. And you showed us the way. Uh. You'll hear if Kobayashi's condition changes. As long as Adonis is causing problems, there's a chance they'll target you. Stay alert and be careful out there. They already targeted me. Y yes, I understand. Too late, dude. I bowed and quickly exited the audio room to go to special prevention. A chance that Adonis targets me? I hope my expression didn't reveal anything. Morioka must not suspect that Adonis have already targeted me. Even so, I can't believe Kobayashi's forgotten it all. I don't know how to tell Inamoto. April-May update has been added to materials. I return to my desk and see Moshida collecting some papers. Hoshino, I've heard you had a hell of a night. Yeah. You went out there to see your little brother, but who'd have expected it end up like that? When I heard that Seiki got shot, I was worried that the worst had happened. I'm sorry for making you worry. I noticed that you've been doing something else whenever you had extra time. There are times when you look so serious, and I figured it wasn't my place to pursue it. That was my... my, my but, but, uh, yeah. That was what it was. That. <laughs> that was me researching the X-Day incidents. <laughs> We're in the same department, so I couldn't keep it hidden forever. I'm sorry. Actually... You don't have to say it. I already know. I'm still your boss. When he spoke so confidently, I got nervous. Um, what do you know? <laughs> I'm a policeman. You can't fool me, Hoshino. You're... You're trying to get into Division 1, right? Huh? I didn't know you had the same motivations. You should have just said something to me earlier. He's totally misunderstanding everything. Um, Moshida? I also dream of donning a beige trench coat someday and putting the cuffs on some big-time crook. Uh-huh. I keep dreaming about arresting the culprits behind the X-Day incidents, but I never expected that you'd get a jump on me. Hmm. If I said he's wrong, he's going to poke his nose into a lot of stuff. Y yeah I always loved watching police dramas. I blurt out an invented motive to join the police force, and Moshida nods vigorously. I totally understand. As expected of the star. Once you're focused, you can't give it up. I'm so glad Mr. Moshida and Enomoto have very similar thought processes. <laughs> I am really derping today. I felt greatly relieved and decided to go one step further. I think of my job first and foremost, but the people in our district will never feel at peace until the X-Day incidents are resolved. If possible, I would like to continue to pursue the case. I am also concerned about the incidents, so I have also been investigating them in secret. I can't rep reprimand you for that. Jeez. Then... Just promise me that you'll stay safe, okay? If anything happens, you tell me, alright? Yes, even though we never t are going to tell you about the caller. Mr. Moshida sees me nod and returns to organizing the paperwork. I reach for the phone that was ringing for SRCPO. December 12th, 2 p.m. Because of my involvement in the situation from last night, Moshida told me to leave work early and get some rest. I sort of feel sorry. I felt a bit regretful about leaving the office while the sun was still up. And then... Ah! I just happened to see Okazuki as he was going to enter the station. Uh, hello. Hey there, kitty. Fancy seeing you here. I yes. Speaking of which, the criminal behind the May incident has been arrested, I hear. Huh? You and Mineo did pretty good, right? Not bad, kitty. As usual, Okazaki made my mind begin racing in several different directions. 
Um, so the arrest of the suspect is... Huh? Did I say something wrong? Okazaki's expression didn't change at all. I had interacted with him previously as if I was someone hiring on the private detective firm. Does he know everything? If the office members were being protected, it was only natural for them to investigate me because I was a customer of theirs. But I bumped into him here, and he was speaking to me like we were on a familiar terms. We were on familiar terms. You knew I was a police officer? Yes. I thought I could pretend I didn't know for a while. Yesterday, the suspect shot one of the officers, right? Yes. So I realized I was thinking that it would be terrible if you had the same happen to you. Just wanted to say that you can count on me, Lady Hoshino. Lady. <laughs> Even though he smiled the same way, I felt like this was a different Okazaki I was seeing all of a sudden, so my face tensed up. When I say your full name, it makes the situation feel so distant. Oh, I know. Can I just call you by your first name? My first name? Yeah, Lady. <laughs> he sounds so friendly. But when Okazaki says it, everything sounds perfectly natural. Yeah, this feels the best for me. I'll just call you that from now on. Oh, sure. I don't really want to be called Kitty all the time, so I accept that. Oh, are you on your way back? Want me to walk you? No, I'm fine. Don't you have business here at the police department? But I'm worried about you. Okazuki had been worried about me ever since we met. I was surprised he looked into my background, but that's his job. Don't worry. If I need your help, I'll ask for it. Got it. Well, Mineo will start to sulk if we get too friendly. See you later. Well, if you'll excuse me. I see Okazaki head into the police office and then turn my head to the side. Why would Enomoto sulk if I was getting friendly with Okazaki? Oh, girl. Something about these main characters, I swear. December 12th, 6 p.m. I feel like all these main characters are like, why would he feel like that? It's not like he likes me or anything like that. I would, he would never do that. I swear, almost every Otome main characters are like that. I swear. <laughs> I wasn't able to do anything once I returned home. Seiki has stabilized, but he's still unconscious. I wonder what Enomoto's doing. Hana Kobayashi, the suspect of the abduction and murder case, has been arrested. But her memory of everything is gone. How would Enomoto feel if he learned that? She'll pay for this. That girl's gonna suffer. I'll make her suffer like Fuji did. Enomoto really, really wanted to hurt her badly. Just because the suspect arrested doesn't mean that his head's cleared. After the incident, we didn't talk much before we parted ways. I considered contacting him, but nothing I would be able to say was likely to help all that much, so I hesitated. It's, it's buzzing, but my sound's not working. Huh? A text message? Surprised, I took out my phone. Feel like meeting up now? In a moto. Speak of the devil, or speak of the puppy, I guess. He's not really a devil. He's really cute. Yes, I can go now. Whoa, calm down. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. Jeez, I'll be waiting in front of my office. Don't run, or you'll probably trip. I stowed my cell phone and quickly grabbed my coat. See, now I will say I like how they do the text message where you have to, like, push A for it to move forward. I'm playing Busta Fellas off camera, which I will give a review on that. If you want me to do just by character review, like a, a different episode or not episode, a different video per character route, let me know. Or if you want me to do all one in one video. But one thing that I do not like in Busta Fellas is the text message thing because it has its own time frame. So sometimes I miss reading it and it's like, I don't want to go all the way back to see it. You know what I mean? It kind of drives me nuts, but oh well. 
I stowed my cell phone and quickly grabbed my coat. I better hurry. Next day. Inamoto had warned me, but I still almost tripped several times en route to the office. Of course, that's me. I trip on air all the time. You look so desperate. I didn't tell you to rush, did I? Well, that's true. I was wondering whether to contact you, that's why. Inamoto smirked at me while he looked at me, gasping for breath. Sorry for making you worry. My mind was in a mess last night, so I didn't know what I should do. But once I heard the report of everything that happened last night from Yunagi, I finally calmed down. I thought it was better to talk to you directly than over the phone. There's something I need to tell you, Enomoto. What's that? It's about the girl we arrested yesterday. This Hanako Kobayashi. All her memories of the incident seem to have been erased. Ugh. Unexpectedly, Enomoto was not surprised at all. He nodded as if he already knew. <clears throat> so it is true. I heard this from Shiraishi, too. Huh? Oh, Shiraishi's the profiler Morioka ha was referring to. She didn't seem like she was lying, and it's not a temporary thing from shock. Only the memories of her involvement with the incidents were completely gone. They said that they may have been erased. Yeah, I heard the same story from the people at Investigation HQ. If Kobayashi is just a pawn of Adonis, they may have taken precautions to ensure that she doesn't blab anything about the organization. I can't believe it. Even after doing all those terrible things, she doesn't remember a single thing. <laughs> if I felt mortified by this news, I couldn't imagine what Inamoto was feeling right now. Inamoto, um... Don't look like that, Hoshino. I told you, didn't I? I've calmed down. At first... I didn't get what was going on. I was angry about it. But dealing with Kobayashi wasn't my goal. The real problem is farther ahead. <laughs> and Emoto was calm right now. He was nothing like he was when his emotions ran wild. He's certain of what he needed to do. And seeing that made me feel greatly relieved. Never mind me. How are you doing? I heard that Seiki is still unconscious in the hospital. Yeah. He's there because I asked him to take care of Kazuki. That's not true, Hoshino. Huh? When Kobayashi fired on the stage, he was the one primarily worried about the audience. He called for backup before anyone else, and he also said that he wouldn't allow the people to be endangered. I only talked to him for a little bit, so I don't know everything about him. But I think even if you didn't ask him to help, he'd still have done his duty as an officer. <laughs> Doesn't the Seiki you know sound like he's that type of guy? Enomoto's words remind me of what Seiki had said in the past. I told them that I became a cop to make people happy and make the world peaceful. They just laughed at me. At least... If there are people nearby who are in trouble, you want to help them, right? Seiki. Just as Enomoto had said, Seiki had unwavering con conviction for as long as I'd known him. It's not just him. You and I would have also acted just like Seiki if we were in his shoes. I am going to let you guys go here. You know what? I feel like, too... I may start tallying how many times the word huh is used because I swear it is used so many times and it, I think it'd be hilarious to see how many huhs are in each route and in the story. For some reason, I don't think it's funny. So I do hope you are enjoying and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.